It's annoyed when you plug in your external hard drive to computer and here comes an error message that disk one unknown, not initialized. In this video, we are going to show you five ways to fix this issue. Let's get started. Solution one, restart your PC. Sometimes the computer's BIOS fails to read the drive. For that, turning the PC off and starting it again is one of the easiest and quickest way to fix the external hard drive not initialized. Try to plug your device into the PC after completing this solution and check whether you can access the files on the drive or not. Solution 2. Check disk connection. Minor connection issues can cause serious problems as well. To check disk connection, you can do as follows. Connect your external hard drive to another USB port. Use the original cable or another cable to connect your hard drive. Connect your hard drive to another computer. Solution 3. Recover data and initialize the hard drive. If your disk is not initialized and shows unallocated, you can also try to initialize the hard drive to fix the issue. Before that, you need to recover data from the hard drive that is not initialized. Anorshare 4D.G is a professional data recovery tool that can recover data from external hard drive that is not initialized or detected. Besides, it can also recover any lost or deleted data from Windows, Mac USB drive, SD card, or digital camera. To recover data from external hard drive that is unknown or initialized, install Tenorshare 4D.G and launch it. Connect your external hard drive to computer. If 4D.G can recognize your external hard drive, select it to scan. Otherwise, there will be lost partition and you can select lost partition to scan as well. After a while, 4D.G should find your data from external hard drive and you can select it to recover them. And you can now initialize the hard drive. Right-click this PC, and then click on Manage to run Disk Management. Here, right-click the hard drive and click Initialize Disk. In the dialog box, select the disk to initialize and choose MBR or GPT partition style. After that, you can create a new partition on it to use it. Solution 4. Update Device Drivers Another method is to update device drives. It's possible that the external hard drive is out of date, so updating the driver may solve this problem. Right-click on this PC and click Manage. Click Device Manager, then Expand Disk Drives. Find and right-click the problematic disk and select Update Driver. Click Search Automatically Search for Driver Software Online. Wait for the driver to be updated, then reboot your computer. Solution 5. Run CHKDSK to repair disk. The last method is to run CHKDSK to repair disk. To do this, Open up command prompt by tapping the Windows key and typing command and right-click the command prompt that appears at the top of the search window and select run as administrator. This brings up the command prompt box where you will see the cursor blinking at the end of the line that says C backslash Windows backslash System32 and GT. Directly after that, type CHKDSK, then a space, and then the letter of the line that says C backslash Windows backslash System32 and GT. Directly after that, type CHKDSK, then a space, and then the letter of the drive you want to check, followed by a colon and then hit enter. The program will then run and check your disk for errors and fix any that it finds. Hopefully these methods can help you fix disk, a no not initialized issue. If you have any questions, just leave your comments below. See you next time.